turn that down before the copyright police enable another raid. So, as you know, I'm a huge fan of vintage speakers, and not only vintage speakers, but vintage speakers on the cheap. And I'm going to start off with a pair that I bought today at the flea market. JBL 2800s. I'm going to pop the grill here. And no, guys, it doesn't need to be refoamed. Um, you can see foam on these things is absolutely perfect. This is perfect. I know another thing that people lunge after is, well, are the, are the domes uh, dented in or, or busted? No, they're not. Pure titanium tweeters. Grills in perfect shape. I don't believe in, uh, you know, some people gloat about their uh, thrift store finds and their uh, flea market finds and what have you. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for these, but suffice to say, I paid a third of what you'd see them uh, go for uh, on our favorite online auction site. The speakers are bright, they're very bright, they image great, um, they sound stage great, I've got them up high. Next speakers I'll show you, I feel guilty about because I feel like I stole them. Not these, not these KLH Model 6s, although I did steal those. I am going to gloat about those. They were $4.99 for the pair. But I'm going to gloat about these. And what these are are ADS uh, Model L 810s. Uh, I'm not going to pop the grills here, but these are three way uh, dual woofer. Acoustic suspension speakers. They have a mid-range unlike any I have ever heard. Um, unlike the JBLs, they they don't really image. Well, I am gonna pop the grill. Let me, let me let me see if I can pop it here, just so I can show you guys what these things look like. You see, there's our tweeter mid-range you see it's got that old old school kind of uh thin wiring exposed wiring dual woofers just like the jbl's guys no refoam necessary no crumbling no all i did with these was refinish the cabinets with um danish oil i put a few coats of Danish oil on on each cabinet they look they sound like brand new I just said I was wasn't going to gloat well I think these are gloat worthy I got these for 40 bucks for the pair 40 bucks for L a tens I've seen these things sell uh, on flea bay for as much as 500 bucks for the pair. I got the pair for 40 bucks. While we're gloating, okay, so I'll gloat about these JBLs. 50 bucks for the pair. 50 bucks. I think I've done pretty well with vintage loudspeakers but as you can see I'm running out of room I literally have no room in my listening space so 
I think the loudspeaker quest is done. Unless I flip any of these things or find a, another unbelievable deal on loudspeakers, I think I'm done. Different speakers for different music, for different moods, for A-B comparison. I know one of the questions you get is, why do you have so many speakers? Well, why not? The best answer right now is, I don't have any more room. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy hunting for vintage thrift speakers and hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.